Hello everyone, Colin Kanad here for Woodwork Web. Today we're going to build a jig <laughs> that I wished I'd have made years ago because this is going to be the handiest jig for the table saw. Let's go over there and let me show you what I'm going to make. All table saws, the blades tip right or left. And this one is no exception. The problem with doing that, some table saws, it's very difficult to move those blades back and forth, especially as they get older. Uh, and the other thing is, even with this one that's easier, you still got to get down on your hands and knees and crank and crank and crank. And then when you're all done, you got to crank it all the way back. What I want to make today is a jig that's going to sit on top the table saw uh, deck and be fully adjustable like this so that whenever I want to cut something I can set the angle at whatever I want more than what the table saw will do itself uh, but I can make one or two cuts quickly and easily take the jig off and the blade is still set up and ready to go so let's get started and the first thing I need to do is make sure all my wood is parallel and square I've set the blade at a half tooth above the material. I'm all ready to go. Now when I'm using this jig, I, I don't want it to move back and forth on top of the table here. So what I want to do, I want to trap it to the fence. And what I'll need to do now, I'm just going to trim up some boards that will go on either side of the fence. Not only does that make it safer, it allows me to use the fence. I can move it back and forth in proximity to the blade so that I can make exactly the kind of cuts that I want. Now to make sure I get this flat and even with the bottom of my jig here, I've just clamped this to the table saw and now I'm just going to screw it on. And now I've got it attached to the fence and I've got the back part of this lifted with a little bit of veneer on the back here. I'm just going to go ahead now and continue putting on the screws and when we come back I'll have everything ready to go. The next thing we're going to be putting on is the sides and then the front lift. Well, there's the first look at our mitering jig, and it, it, I love how it, it's nice and smooth in every direction. It doesn't rub up against the sides, so that's good. And the first thing I want to do is I want to mark, I cut 45 degrees pretty frequently. So what I want to do, I'm going to make a stop on either side at 45 degrees. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is measure that up, uh, and then we'll run some wood and see what it looks like. Okay, setting the angles for this is super easy. All you need to do is take uh, a triangle if you have one. I have a couple of engineer squares. I have this one and a 30, 30 and 60. Uh, this is a 45, so all you need to do is put it in there until it seats itself. And there it is there. And what I've done now is I just took my marking pen and I, all I did was make a, a mark. I set a mark on each side here and put a mark up there and now I've put a, a tick on each side where the 45 degree angle is. I'm going to do something a little bit deluxe. I'm going to be using these shelving brackets and they actually come with a collar and the beauty of these is when I drill a hole right in the center and put the collar in, when I put the shelving, when I put that little bracket in, it it centers it because it's offset. You can see how it's kind of offset like that. And it doesn't matter 
that it's, uh, there's the round thing here because these are in the center. So if I put that right in there, it will center that right on 45 degrees. So I'm just going to drill holes for that and we'll put those in. There you can see how nice that seats. Well, I'm all ready to go. Let's give this jig a try. That concludes my video for today, making the mitering jig for the table saw. And I'll put the dimensions for this on the website, uh, so you'll be able to get that information there. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe and click the notification bell, because i got lots more videos coming. Thanks everybody for watching.